Hi everyone, this is Angie from Stampin' with Amore and today I'm sharing a, a card tutorial. almost didn't get that out, but uh, it says you're the best and I really like the results of this card. Um, it's really not hard to stamp. I'm going to show you the process and I even used some Winkastella on it, the clear Winkastella and I'm not sure if you can see it that well on here but it really adds a lot to this and I added a few little rhinestones um, to add a little bit of glitz. So let's get started with this project. So what we're going to need is you're going to need a regular card base. This is Pear Pizzazz and it's a five and a half by four and a quarter base. Then you're going to need another piece and this piece is five and a quarter by four and then this piece is three and it's five by three and three quarters. So that's the, the uh, stamped piece we're going to use. So the two stamp sets we're using is going to be this flower patch and friendly wishes and I'm using of course you're the best. And so let's go ahead and get started. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm bringing in my stamp mat because these are photopolymer stamps that I'm using except for the sentiment it is a wood, a wood block. So with the photopolymer this gives it a little bit of a cushion and it really stamps really nicely. So we're going to use some pink pirouette and I'm going to use some pear pizzazz. Put them up here and then I'm going to use some Melon Mambo. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this larger flower in the pink pirouette. I'm going to stamp that and I hope I can get this even because I did this standing up originally and it's easy to see when you're standing up to get it all lined up. So we're going to stamp our first one right at the top here and leave a little bit of a space and then we're going to do another one right down below it. So these are all going to be mirrored images pretty much, not exactly because that's the the uh, good thing about hand stamping. Everything is original. This is Melon Mambo and I'm taking this smaller flower and we're stamping that in the center. Okay, then we're ready for our leaves and I'm taking this larger leaf but the first thing we're going to do is what I did was I created a mask and I just stamped it and cut it out roughly. I cut it out a little bit larger than um, the original image so it will cover this pretty well and on the back I have a little bit of snail but I I um, touched it a few times to loosen up the sticky on it because I didn't want it to stick permanently. So we're going to line this up and we're going to use our pear pizzazz and we're going to kind of make it like it's arching down a little bit. And we'll turn this one around and do the same on this side. Let's go ahead and stamp our other leaves while we have it on here. This way I won't have to keep lifting um, the mask on and off. And I need a little piece to stamp off on because I want to make these varying colors. And I didn't see that, but this is pretty awesome. <laughs> I actually embossed this piece, and so when I stamped down on it, it gave a really neat effect, which I wasn't expecting. And it really, I didn't do this on the first one, but I really love the way that looks. So I'm going to continue with that. I'm not going to make them all like that, but I really do like the effect that that gave this it makes it look like real leaves. Alright, so we're going to do a couple solid ones. We won't stamp off on those. So I'll put one here and I'm just overlapping 
trying to make them all look kind of uniform. Not exactly, but... And then we'll do one more. And I'll bring this one out a little bit. Okay, so now we can move the mask. And you'll see it comes off real easy. And we'll put it over here on this one. And we're going to do the same process. We're going to put this one, and we're going to make these going up. Okay, and then I am going to continue with the smaller leaf. And I really like that. So if you have an embossed piece, it really gives it some dimension. You can stamp the ink and then it picks up that embossed. I really, really like that. <laughs> I just made a discovery. Okay, so these we're going to do solid. Yeah, let's see, I'll do one here. And then one more. Let's see. I'll just put it closer to here. Okay, so that is it for our stamping there. And then the next thing that we're going to do is I am going to grab my Wink Well, let's go ahead and stamp our center first. I'll do the Wink Estella after. I was anxious to do the Wink Estella because it looks so pretty. And on the other one, I did it right away. But let's go ahead and stamp the sentiment. And we're using Tip Top Taupe for the sentiment. And it's, I'm using the wood block for this one. Hopefully this part I can get straight like I got the other one. I'm actually going to try to stand and see if I can get it. So you're going to center it right between the two. Yeah, there. Not bad. All right. So now I'm going to grab my Wink of Stella. And we are going to, I did all the leaves. Can you see what it did to these leaves? i got to show you close up. Because it really gave it some texture when I stamped off on that embossed piece. And it just looks so pretty. Alright, so let's do the Wink of Stella. And I'm going to just do it on all my leaves. This Wink of Stella is gorgeous. All right, and then I'm going to do the center piece. I'm not going to get too carried away. So that is it. Just all my little leaves. Okay. So let's go ahead and get our matting piece. And I love this. By the way, this paper is absolutely gorgeous. It's called Timeless Elegance. And look at how beautiful this paper is. And I hate to say it because I'm really sad it's going, but this is on our retired list. So if you've had your eye on this paper, go to my blog at stampingwiththemori.com and check out the retired list because there's up to 50% off on a lot of stamping up products. And all of our scallop punches are going, so they're all on the list also. So, if you want to get really good deals on some of the stamps, you can get shop right online on my blog. Alright, so of course I'm going to run out of that one. Hopefully I got another refill. Yep. And we're going to center this on that. And then we're ready to pop it up on our card base. I'm going to get my dimensionals here. And I like to put enough so this is even. So I always put plenty on here. I don't like the sides and stuff falling in. 
and these are not really that expensive so I use them very sparingly not sparingly I use them generously all right so let's get these backings all off And let's get this all out of the way. And we're going to center this on here. And then I'm going to get my rhinestones. And we're going to put some in the center. You always need a little a few rhinestones or some bling. It's just makes it beautiful. And just put them wherever you like. I usually put uneven numbers on because I just think they look it looks much better. It's the odd numbers look better on your cards. All right, so that is it. It's that simple. And isn't that really a pretty card? I'm really pleased with that card. I really like it. And it's really simple and easy to do. So everyone, if you need any supplies, go to my blog, stampingwithamore.com. And you can shop right online. And don't forget to check out the retiring list. Our new catalog comes out in June. And you don't want to miss out. It's such an awesome new catalog. Everyone have a blessed day and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.